so my aunt that lives in the USA in Colorado, she wrote a cookbook. It's basically all of her favorite recipes and a whole bunch of old family recipes from different generations from my grandparents and all sorts of stuff like that. It's a super cool thing that Francie did um, and everyone in the family got one. And it's, it's pretty epic. There's recipes here that are so nostalgic and stuff just because of like my grandfather's recipes and stuff like that. So it's, just, it's awesome. Anyway, I'm making uh, something today that my gran has made for a long time on my dad's side, my dad's mom. Uh, since as long as I can remember these little like fruit square things um, and they are super nostalgic so lockdown baking is commencing let's go lockdown day unknown many over 40 close to 50 I don't know it's crazy I've lost count but it's a lot and look what it's got us doing I'm baking I've never baked before in my entire life what a time to be alive. It's a strange thing this lockdown. I mean, my day-to-day -day life hasn't changed much in the sense that I'm still working from home as I have been for years. So nothing's really changed there. I'm very grateful that I'm still able to earn money and work even through all of this. I've been getting to bed at a more realistic time since lockdown started so I can get up early with the kids. So that's been nice. I mean, it's great not editing until like 2 a.m. and then feeling like a zombie until 11 a.m. the next day. And I think it's more healthy, or at least that's what people say. I started running at the start of lockdown every other day and haven't missed a day since lockdown. Rhianne and I are alternating taking the kids out for a walk every day. I don't think this many people have exercised on a regular basis in British history. It must be one of the most successful marketing campaigns of all time. Thanks to the British government, you literally can't go for a walk without nearly being run over by 14,000 cyclists and 500 runners. Not to mention the 13 million people with dogs just defecating wherever they please and the owners watching on with embarrassment and then just leaving the mess because apparently we're no longer a civilized society and the basic act of picking up your dog's feces on a p city path is not appropriate behavior during a pandemic i mean seeing as we're making all these changes to our way of life and forming all these new habits we might as well throw caution to the wind and just go back to our primal way of life and have excrement on every paved surface in our cities where was i uh Oh yeah, so on days that I don't run, I take the kids out for a walk, which has been fun and not fun, because sometimes having two toddlers tantruming and everything like that that goes on with toddlers um, is sometimes challenging. But it's been good for the most part. We've missed a few days here and there because uh, sometimes herding two toddlers is harder than trying to convince government leaders that there's a global warming problem in the world. Who wants a fruit square? Does Liliana want a fruit square? Jax hasn't eaten enough yet. Oh, it's it's you, you, need to, you need to eat some of this. It's got banana and raisins and yummies in it. Oh, See. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, she it. Oh my goodness. This, this dough. What? Do you want this? Do you want this, Lily? Uh -huh. And when Daddy gives, gives it to me, I like it. You, like you need it. to eat more. Um, um, when Daddy gives me it... It hasn't uh, quite worked um, out, Brianna. Hmm? Yeah, that's mummy's. You need to eat more food. It's a bit soft, isn't it? The dough is risen like... It's like a cake. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well are you funny. supposed to use plain flour or soft raisin? Plain. Did you use plain? The red one is plain, isn't it? Mm -hmm. See it, 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 oh, yeah. it's like um, a bit more bready. It turned out like cake. <laughs> <laughs> like like um, and cake. It tastes yeah. very nice. Unlike some folks that have had these immaculately cleaned and recently locked on decorated homes, ours is the complete opposite. You know that feeling when you're leaving a hotel room after a two week holiday at a luxury resort and you have a mixture of both pride and embarrassment in equal measure? Pride because it's an incredible achievement that you could possibly leave a hotel room in such a state. Clearly the appropriate use of the hashtag good times whilst feeling a level of embarrassment or maybe the feelings actually dread that another human being is going to have to clean up after you i mean i've never done that before to a hotel room personally but i've just heard people talking about it and heard it in comedy skits and stuff like that well our house looks like that right now or at least what i imagine that to look like you know if a hotel cleaner was to come into our house right now i reckon they just quit and go on the doll we've been focusing on more important things like finding new youtube channels to sub to which by the way as an aside if you're not sub please hit that little red button and the bell notification 
notification thing you know where it is so that you don't miss an upload because i'm trying to do this on the more regular and uh, that would really help oh and while you're there you might as well just hit that like button and uh, leave us a little comment unless you are going to leave a mean comment in which case don't bother because i don't feel bad about my youtube channel and i i just like the bit of euphoria that i get when i read nice comments okay thanks wow that was a rabbit hole and a half we live away from our families but somehow feel a bit more connected to what they're up to on the day to day because we've spoken to them way more regularly via digital things like facetime and stuff than ever before which is great and i'm incredibly grateful that we have all of these technology options at hand in this time imagine what it would have been like back in the days of the plague where there wasn't any facetime or anything like that so if you were quarantined from your family for months and months and months you just didn't see them that was it you just missed out on people's lives so grateful that we don't have that although it is going on to just over three months now that we haven't seen our families in person Was that nice, Lily? Do you like? Uh, so funny, she asks for more and asks for stuff like like she's just done there. She just grunts for it. Yeah. And as, yeah, as soon as she gets up high, she just wants to grab everything. She's like, uh, 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 trying to crack everything. <laughs> I think he's eating your pork chops, Dad. Eating my pork chops, Jackson. How could he eat my pork chops? What am I going to eat? You have to eat this. No, really. Can I show you what my pork chops are like? All right. How does this look? Yeah, Nigel. Yeah, it looks all right. This is the normal one. Oh, well, what else do we need to eat? And this is Gaga special gluten free. We need to eat three more pieces of meat. They just, they perfectly cooked. They just slightly underdone in the middle, which is just right. I guess all this is to say that there have been some positive habits and lifestyle choices formed in these times and some not so good ones as well and a lot of things that we're really missing and longing for. Here's to that first coffee shop flat white that we'll hopefully be sipping in the not too long. Oh how sweet it'll taste. Unless you're a purist like me and wouldn't dream of putting sugar in that concoction of goodness. In which case if it's a natural roast it'll probably have an earthy body with hints of berries and nuts. Okay I'm done rambling. Thanks for watching folks. Like and subscribe and comment and all that stuff. Okay, bye. What's on your face, monkey? You don't know. Are we drawing something? Where, where do we draw with pens? Hmm? No way. You're allowed to draw with pens, but just where? No way. Do we draw on faces? No way. No way. Meanwhile, this one is loving a cereal. Is that good? Did he move?